Amen? That's simple like Deb. Simple. There is three that agree in heaven. Not one, not two, but three. And that's the Father, the Son, or the Word, and the Holy Spirit. Whenever that John baptized Jesus, Jesus was standing here plain. And there was a voice that come out of heaven. The Father. He said, this is my beloved Son, whom I'm well pleased. And then, at the same time, here the Holy Ghost descended down out of the heaven in the bodily shape like a dove and sat upon him. There was three there. Three. Three that bear witness, wasn't there? Three. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Word of God. All agree in one. Jesus, when he was here, Kenneth talks about it a lot. When he went on that ship and went to the other side, I'm, I'm almost sure God didn't tell him why he was going or like you was talking about tonight about going to the hospital. Because he said plainly, he said, I'll just do what, or I'll just do what I hear my father say in me to do. When he says for me to go, I'll just go. If he says, come, I come. He said, it's expedient. That I go away, disciples. Because if I don't go, the comforter won't come. But if I go, he will come. And he will take of mine and he'll show it to you. Hallelujah. Ain't that something? That's how they agree in one. Because Jesus took of the Father and showed it to the disciples. And then he sent the Holy Ghost. And the Holy Ghost took of Jesus which I already took of the Father, and he's showing it to us. But you know what it's all about? The Word. The Word. The Word, ain't it? It's the Word. Let's go to John chapter 12, verse 47. Is this all right? Amen. John 12, 47, Jesus said, And if any man hear my what? My words, and believe not, I judge him not. For I come not to judge the world, but to save the world. He that rejecteth me and receiveth not my words, my words, hath one that judges him, the Word judges him. The Word judges him. The Word judges him. Everybody say, the Word judges me. The Word judges me. The Word that I have spoken, the same shall judge him in the last day. For I have not spoken of myself... But the Father which sent me, he gave me a commandment what I should say and what I should speak. And I know that his commandment is life everlasting. Whatsoever I speak, therefore, even as, even as, even as the Father said unto me, so I speak. Folks, it's all about the Word. It ain't just about the Word. It's wall to wall, tree top tall Word. Amen. You can't go to the south, west, up, down, sideways, or no other way without it to be in the Word. It's the Word. It's the Word, ain't it? I guess I ought to quit instead of going on, shouldn't I? Matthew 24, 35. I hate to quit right now. Is it all right if I go on and get this out of my system? Is that all right, Kenneth? Matthew 24 and 35. Because I, I believe, I believe this is simple. I, I, I sure do. I believe, Dale, but this is simple as a box of rocks. 
to be able to distinguish and to discern that it's the Word of God. It's the Word of God. And that's the part I want to establish. It's the Word of God. Verse 35, Jesus said, Heaven and earth shall pass away. What does that mean? That means that everything you see and all this earth and all the heavens is going to pass away. But he said what? But my word shall not pass away. Now get, get that in your spirit. My words, he said, won't pass away. Everything else, that even the heavens and the earth, Brenda, Deb, Kenneth was made by his words. But that'll pass away because his words spoke it that it would pass away. But his words won't never pass away. The word of God will never pass away. First Peter 1.23 again, how are we born again? Not of corruptible seed, but of incorruptible seed, which is the word of God. That's how we're born again. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my word shall never, or my word shall not pass away. Let's go to Matthew chapter 8. Matthew chapter 8. 